Mine does not produce any light. Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You raise your hand. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Welcome to Crafts with Tepper. I'm Dean Stephen Tepper, and I'm here with Maida. Did I get your name right? <laughs> no, no. No. Denied. It's a uh, Maida. Maida. Yeah, very close. Maida. My last name is like the hardest last okay, name. Yeah, let's do. Let's do last name. Okay. It's a uh, Maida Muayednia. Maida. Ah, it yeah. If like, you had a white glove right now, I would <laughs> I would give you permission to slap you. It's so fun to say my first and last name for the first time to someone because it's like they're getting a shock. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for uh, helping me do that. Let's, so we're building a uh, camera obscura. Yes. And it's been properly labeled for, know, uh, for a dean whose brain is overgrown with <laughs> relevancy. No, 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 and then we have this beautiful instruction sheet. Uh, isn't that great? Tape the magnifying glass to the lens plane. Now, do you realize that you are um, hogging <laughs> magnifying glasses? <laughs> you can have okay. a Thank magnifying you. glass. People talk about eyes being the you know, window into the soul. Yeah. How, as a filmmaker, do you think about how people see the world. I think that's why I like editing, because editing is where the art of filmmaking, the art of presenting this story comes. As an editor, I think about who is going to be visible, who is audience going to see, what angle I want them to look at. I hear that you also are a sociologist. Yes. Um, that's a big word. Or like, you study sociology. I did, yeah. Yes. Why film? Like, how did you get a film bug? I really wanted to be a surgeon, but um, my parents insisted that I become a filmmaker. What? That is not the story that I, I typically hear when I'm talking to students. <laughs> I come from a different background. I am an immigrant here. Yeah. When did uh, you immigrate? I came here in 2014, October. So you came over in the lat and for college? In, um, in my country, Iran, as a, a religious minority, or specifically people who believe in Baha'i faith, they're uh -huh. not allowed to go to universities or have any, even like jobs in the public sector. There is a, the university that I studied in called BIHE. It stands for Baha'i Institute for Higher Education. So I studied there, but it was very hard because it was fully online and a lot of people would go to jail for just studying there or teaching because it's basically an underground university. That's Get incredible. In. I mean, we know that kids take risks all the time to study, to put your life in danger, to mm -hmm. possibly face imprisonment because you've chosen to an education. I feel like coming from that background made me very, very much appreciate college. A great reminder to ev everyone who's in school that it's a real privilege to have the opportunity to learn. We're so grateful that your path led you here. So is this story about going from medical school to film school true? Did you want to go to medical school? <laughs> no. no. Okay. When I told my parents that I want to study film here, like their exact reaction was, what? what? What's one of your favorite mm. film projects you've worked on? I care about every single project. Like this is the last project I ever gonna edit and I'm gonna die. So this has to be perfect. <laughs> Doesn't sound like that leaves a lot of room for sleep. I left um, here at 5 a.m. this morning because I was editing a cap senior capstone. Oh wow. You have basically trained yourself to become a dean. <laughs> If you remember me, Dean, I might come back. Because <laughs> <laughs> memory loss is a major part of what it means to be a dean. So what are we talking about? What are we talking about? Just for the viewing audience, <laughs> we're talking about memory loss. Yes. And then I asked you, what we're talking about? <laughs> just, to, just to bring it forward in case you missed it. I am going back to my box and sealing cracks. Once again, feeling inadequate. 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 All right, so you're inadequate. graduating this spring. Yes. Which I feel sad that we have just met. Just because you're pleasant to be around and do crafts with, I don't think you should stay here. <laughs> Where does a, an aspiring editor go to get the most interesting projects to work on? A dungeon. 
I'm actually applying for a graduate school right now Ooh. to um, get my MFA in the film and media And production. what do you think you'll learn in graduate school that you haven't learned yet? What I'm looking for mostly is the collaboration, but also because I, I love to teach one day. I think that it's good to have my MFA. Becoming a filmmaker and editor in a moment in human history where we are telling more stories across more platforms. You, I know that you have an interest in, in, in justice, and when you were talking about editing, you were talking about that as an editor, you can pull out things that other people might, that might otherwise be invisible. That's why I chose film. I wanted to tell stories. I wanted to talk about things that they are very afraid to talk about. Coming from a background of like being discriminated because of being a minority in my own country made me think about what are the tools I can use to tell stories that it matters to me that might make the world a better place. So you want to make the world a better place and, and storytelling, especially through film, you see as the best tool to do that. Yes. I'm very interested in documentaries that challenges people's imagination, challenges how we uh, perceive this world and understand people around us. Also, we talk about how uh, film and media are so powerful these days. We should just do a better work. We should just try a little better. Like, the fact that this might be hard is not a good reason not to do it. You just have to do it better and more. Education's about reflection. It's not a mad race. Yes. Right? You're supposed to be able to stay on an idea long enough to understand it. So It's about a journey. It's not the race. Which is exactly what I would say building this camera obscura is. <laughs> It is a journey. Who's your favorite sociologist? Got a sociologist named um, Gus Field. My work is really thinking about how culture, how story, how artists, how designers, how filmmakers can give us the material we need to navigate social change. Who are the meaning makers in our culture but our artists and designers? So what, what was your sort of go-to strategy in, in, in those early days of just feeling like everything was upside down. It's, it's hard to be a brown girl from Middle East in Arizona. There's a lot of pressure on immigrants that, oh my God, you have to make it. Like, you have to be the best. Like, there is a reason immigrants are always like 4.0. I'm 4.0 myself because I'm an overachiever because I feel like I have this responsibility to make this country better. If we have an economy problem, if there's something wrong in, in this country, it's immigrants' fault. If there's something bad happening, it's immigrants' fault. Like, it's so much like it's right. immigrants' fault. So you just felt the pressure to just like oh my god like I have to like prove that like I'm gonna do good it's not that you lost your home you just lost a part of your identity because part of the identity was being in that culture and speaking that language so it was very hard to establish that to find myself to find my strength also fight with this battle that I don't belong here or I am not welcome here you, you know? belong here um... You, uh, you will make our, our community a better place. You give us a reminder of all those small life taxes that you had to face as, a, as an immigrant and how much more we could all do to, to, to make that transition easier. So help us with your art to get better because um, yeah. we're, we're certainly not there yet. I hope that I can at least make one immigrant to feel that you're beautiful and you're worthy just the state of you being here is beautiful and diversity is beautiful, so you make this country beautiful. So in some ways it, it comes back to our, our beautiful camera obscura. Yes. We see immigrants often uh, wrongly because of the way the politics and the media. With a mission, with our camera obscures uh, strapped to our heads. Changing uh, the perspective. Changing perspective. <laughs> Opening uh, minds. <laughs> it's so delightful to be here with you, Thank uh, you. on this January day. Can't wait to uh, shake your hand and give you a hug when you walk across stage in a couple couple months because I will know uh, every step of that walk across stage is imbued with all the struggle but then all of the, uh, the resilience and the passion and purpose that you've brought with you through your education here. I'll do my best not to trip. So, Crafts with the Dean. Crafts with the Dean. <laughs>